Hi everybody, today we are going to do a first impression of Koki's Pure Magic eyeshadow palette. Now, a couple, I guess last week, I reviewed the Koki Arabian Nights palette. This one is a little bit different, and I loved the Arabian Nights. I think it was like, it was just awesome in so many ways. So today, we are going to be focusing on the Pure Magic palette. So where the other palette was a little bit more jewel toned, this one is more of a pastel spring palette. I have not swatched any of these shades, but I am so excited. Like this shade in particular really excites me. Look how pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I am coming on with no face makeup on today because I thought we would do something a little bit different, which is use some tape on my eyes to get a nice winged look. I'm really excited to try that out. I have a little I have a little bit of an idea that I would like to try. We'll see how it works. I'm I'm excited. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to tape my eyelid. I'm going to zoom you in and then I will show you how I go about this. Okay, so I would first recommend to take the tape and actually like Stick it on your hand just a little bit so that it doesn't hurt as bad when you're removing it from your skin. And then I want you to follow your bottom lash line, the direction that it's going. Don't put it too close to your eyelid actually because it hurts. Like it's very uncomfortable. Um, so you want to go underneath your lashes. Like that. not the best feeling in the world but it works definitely works okay so we are going to begin with primer i'm going to use my mac painterly paint pot and today i'm i'm not going to blend it out with a brush i'm just gonna blend it out with my finger doing primer after you put the tape down is actually helpful i know some people do the primer first but i just find that this gives a cleaner line when you take off the tape so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Poof, which is this nice like bonus shade. It's not quite bone, it's, it's a little bit more fleshy than bone, but that's what we're going to use. I'm going to take like this chunky blending brush. There's no pigment on it, it's just stained. I have a tendency to use eyeshadows that like to stain my brushes and I love white brushes like with br white bristles so my shadow is always 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 sting I'm gonna zoom even a little bit more so next what I'm going to do is go into the shade bewitch which is this really really pretty teal it's like this deep teal shade this one and I'm gonna go in with the same brush because why not and I'm just gonna blend it into that crease at the edge of the tape yes this one is gonna be more of a colorful eyeshadow look because I really like playing with color and stuff so I stay neutral sometimes and then other times I go crazy wild with color so we will see I love how deep this shade is That's the start. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take this kind of tapered fluffy brush. It's not quite a blending brush, but it's not packing either. It's like right in between. And I love using this. It's tapered just to get into my crease. I love it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a bit of a risk and go in with Supernatural, which is this metallic navy shade. So I'm just going to dip into that a little bit and we're going to rock it into the crease with the tapered end out to contribute more to that wing shape. Let's just see if we can add some dimension. Oops. 
keeping it on more of the outside smoky part. Not so much bringing it in, but definitely bringing it in a little bit just to make it all blend, but really focusing it on the outside. This is a beautiful shade. So I'm going to take a clean brush with no pigment on it, and I'm just going to blend that in together. I'm going to take a little bit more of Bewitch, which was the original teal shade, and just pump it right in here. The way that I like to do color is I like to really blend it out so that it's there's definitely color there but it's wearable I'm not a fan on myself personally really really like in your face strong colors I love using bright colors I love using all neon all of it but I like to do it in a way where it's diffused a little bit to where it's not so in your face, so I like to definitely blend, 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 blend when it comes to bright colors. So next, I'm going to swatch some of these shimmers just to see what they look like. I think I'm going to do this shade here, and then another shade back there, and then use that as a highlight. That is a beautiful highlight. I think what I'm going to do next is cut my crease, just a teen, like just, just like a little bit. So I'm going to take some Jeffree Star concealer. And I'm going to use the brush that I usually use to blend out primer for my eyes, but I'm just going to stick with some concealer. And we're just going to put it on the lid only. And I'm going to bring it out just a little bit to that tape, just a teeny bit like that. I'm excited for this. This is where we're at. So now we get to the fun part, which is the shimmers. So I'm going to take the shade Divine, which is this really pretty purple. This shade looks like that. It's really pretty. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit scared that it isn't going to look good with this look, but we're going to try it. If you mess up, you can cover it with concealer. So we're going to spray that twice and we're just gonna let that get tacky for a minute so I'm going to take this and put it on my outer part of my eye okay so I tried it with the brush which you just saw it didn't really go on well so I'm using my finger and I definitely think I'm getting a better effect with my finger how pretty that is. I think you'll be able to see it better on this eye because of the light. So before I continue with shimmer, I think I'm going to take my tapered brush, this one, the same one, and I'm going to go into Spellbound, which is a matte like very dark plum. It looks black, but it's really just plum. And I'm, I'm literally going to tap into it once, tap the brush, and I'm just going to blend it in the crease to deepen up that area to really make that shimmer pop. And also to bring a little bit of purple in because I love this purple. Like it's almost, it's, it's an iridescent shade. I love that purple. I don't have anything like this color at all, but I do want a little bit of cohesion a bit more, so we're going to just add that in there and just kind of fluff it out. So 
Well, this is definitely a creative look, that's for sure. I am so excited to take the tape off and see what happens. So now for the last part of shimmer that I'm really excited for. I'm going to take that same brush and clean it off my little flat brush. And I'm going to dip into Mystery. I am so excited. It's this really pretty, like, baby blue icy shimmer. It is so pretty. I'm going to dip into this. I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. And then I'm just going to put it in my inner crease. Not my inner crease, my, like, inner lid. Oh my god, <laughs> how pretty is that? You know, with the same brush, I'm going to go back and forth between these two shades and blend them together like to perfection in the middle part. The moment of truth has arrived. We are going to remove the tape. Now remember, when you remove the tape, sometimes it is possible that color got underneath the tape somehow, or maybe your lines are not even. We can always correct with concealer. Um, so don't panic, but I'm nervous. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay. There's one. Okay, cool. Cool. So what you do now is you see where you may not have blended as well, or maybe you just need to connect some areas. I see here, obviously, it's not blended the best, so I'm going to go in and fix that with a clean brush. I'm just going to work on connecting that line a little bit more like this one is. And if you have to, put the tape back on. It's better, although clearly that went a little bit farther. So we're going to clean all of that up. So with that said, I'm going to leave and put my foundation on and I'll be back and we can continue finishing up this look. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight with Mystic on my eyes. I also highlighted my face with this. I'm gonna take the shade Ritual, which is this beautiful brownish color, brownish color with the tan, and I'm gonna put that on my lower lashes. And I'm gonna bring it underneath that wing. I think the last thing I'm going to do is eyeliner and then mascara. So I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. And now mascara. I'm going to use the same mascaras as before my Essence Lash Princess and my Revlon all in one. And lastly, actually, I think I need a little bit more blush, but then my eyes are done. This is the finished look. What do you think? I know it's dramatic, but I like it. Like I said, like, I do think that this look is wearable. I do. This is a look that I would wear to work or that I would wear to go out. Like, I would wear this look. This, to me, isn't so dramatic and over the top. It's muted, but there's still 
some interest going on. So overall, I think this palette is awesome. The formula, I cannot believe how good the formula is on these palettes. I'm gonna have to look up what other palettes Koki has because their formula is on point. I mean, seriously. Even though I was packing on all that pigment, there wasn't fallout. I didn't have any fallout underneath of my eyes. Yes, there was, you know, some color on the tape, but it wasn't fallout. I mean, it wasn't from down here. It was from me blending. Like, there's no fallout. They blend so, so well. I mean, honestly, look at this. It blends so good. And they're so pigmented and opaque. I can't believe it. And that's something that I actually really, really like, is that you have the option. If you want to do, like, a really, really impactful, bright, like, in-your-face look, you have that ability. But if you also want to kind of keep it a little bit subdued and just kind of play with some color and but still keep it, like, daytime appropriate, you have that chance, too. Like, you have that choice. I am in love with this palette. And honestly, when you compare both of them, and you combine these into one palette, you can do so much. Like, there's so many cool looks that you can do with them. And to be honest, I think my favorite thing about these palettes is that both of them are kind of divided in half to where you have some color on the bottom and then more neutral tones on the top so that you can kind of introduce color in a subtle way to where it's not so overdramatic. These are the first Koki palettes I've ever owned or tried for eyeshadow, and I have to admit that I am unconverted. Like, this is good. Like, high quality. I think that you can do so much cool, like, so many cool looks with this. I'm so excited. And they're affordable. This palette is $15. For all those shades and the quality, like, you really can't beat it. You cannot beat it. And they're drugstore, which means that you can get them on sale at any point because drugstores always have sales. I just, I'm really happy with this. So let me know what you guys think of this look, of this palette. Is this something that you're interested in? Um, do you like this look? Would you wear this look? Is it too much for you? Is it, you know, is it just enough? Let me know what you think. I know cool tones don't always look the best on me, but I really like this look. I think it came together. It's really pretty. I am in love with that blue shade, that blue. <sighs> that blue is gorgeous. It's so icy and so good. So yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think and let me know what you'd like to see next. I love all of you. Have a great day. Bye.